Hello, it's me, Brandon, and I'm going to be doing another DVD review. Now, earlier I showed, I already showed, sorry, I already showed you with this DVD. You know, my getting this from the mail, but I, I watched one movie today, and I just had to review it, even though I already watched it before. But you know, it's Child's Play Two in the Ultimate, and the you know, in the Chucky the Killer DVD collection. I first watched Child's Play Two. I might do the reviews for Child's Play 1, Child's Play 3, and the other Chucky movies. But right now, let's concentrate on Child's Play 2. In this one, uh, they the dog gets sent back to the, you know, the good guy company, the good guy dog's company to get rebuilt and make it to a new dog. And he gets sent to foster care or... Yeah, I, I'll say foster care. While his mother is in the nut house, uh, you know, she was uh, committed because she stuck to her story while the other cops pretend it didn't happen, you know, cops. Uh, anyway, so Andy gets to live, uh, is sent to live to, to the to a foster family, the Simpsons. Uh, Phil Simpsons, played by Garrett Graham, he's done a lot of cool horror movies in the 80s and early 90s and other stuff. And... Joanne Simpson, sorry, Joanne Simpson, played by uh, Jenny Arcader, Arcader, I'll say Arcader, Jenny Arcader, she was very good in this, she had that half British, half English accent, I'll say British, I don't know, and then of course my favorite in the movie, Kyle, played by uh, Christina Lee. she's really like a foster sister to Andy, she's basically... She's, she gets along with Andy later in the movie, even though, you know, when she gets in trouble, you know, the stuff that Chucky, do, Chucky does and, the, and, you know, Joanne and Phil saying she does it. She still likes Andy. I always like that scene. I always like that character. Anyway, so Andy is sent to live with the Simpsons and uh, Joanne, she likes him. But Phil really doesn't like him at all. It's just, you know, for whatever reason, I guess Phil's got... Issues taking care of foster kids, especially Andy, thinking the doll story is made up. I mean, who would believe a killer doll is actually real, right? You know. Anyway, so Andy, you know, I feel do I do feel bad for Andy, especially when he's on the bus. He gets punched by that one kid, and the teacher doesn't like him. And of course, Chucky kills that teacher in a funny way. But you just feel bad for Andy. Chucky getting him in trouble by writing the. You know, fuck you, bitch, on his term paper or his paper. And um, well, later on, where well, Andy has to kill Chucky, Phil sees him in the basement and he's thinking he's going psycho. And while he comes downstairs, Chucky grabs a hook or whatever. And you know, before he, he kills Phil by making him break his own neck, he says, How's it hanging, Phil? Or how's it hanging, Phil? And then you know, he breaks his neck, breaks his neck, and, and Joanna sees him, she, she thinks Andy did it, or, you know, she, she's not on, she doesn't like Andy anymore, so he's sent uh, to live with the foster uh, care system again, with that uh, lady uh, played by, you know, Grace Zabrisky, oh, hold on, I gotta say the last name, I'll try to say the last name right, so forgive me, Grace Zabrisky, yeah, Grace Zabrisky, who you probably might know, who played Susan's mother on Seinfeld? Uh, George Costanza's almost mother-in-law, but uh, she was good as the foster foster lady or whatever caretaker. But uh, when the uh, Kyle discovers Andy was telling the truth, when she finds that other doll that at the beginning of the movie, but not the really beginning, Chucky kills and you know smashes smashes his head with that uh, statue and envy. You know, I say statue, the family, and I can't say that word right now, but anyway, so uh, Kyle discovers uh, Joanne's body strangled to death by Chucky, and now she's got to drive Chucky to the foster care so he can trans transfer his soul into Andy's body, and, you know, especially that scene where Kyle, well, you know, the far... The fire alarm is pulled, and um, of course Chucky did it. Kyle just looks at Andy, looks at Andy, and Andy looks at her back, and it then misses. I forget the character's name, but uh, you know the actress uh, Grace. She comes down with Andy, and uh, she sees Kyle, and she thinks she did it, but uh, she says no, he did it. And uh, they go into her office to con to confront it, to con 
confront this. Sorry. To confront this. Anyway, she, she grabs the Chucky doll and he says, Amazing, isn't it? And stabs right her all, oh, man. And then while he stabs her, her dead body falls down on the copy machine, making extra copies on her face or whatever. I guess that's done for comic special, comic relief for. So, and Chucky kidnaps Annie again, uh, and then Kyle's got to save him. And I'm going to stop right there. I'll give you one more clue. Uh, they go to the good guy, Doc. Um, the good, they go to the good guy, Doc House, and she just got to save Annie. I'm going to stop right there. But check out uh, Child's Play 2. This is the first Child's Play to, to be made by Universal Studios. The original one was from uh, MGM Home Entertainment. I don't know why... Uh, Universal wanted to do Child's Play 2 or did MGM sold it, sold it to Universal Universal Studios. I don't know what the reason. I'm just guessing. But anyway, yeah, the first Child's Play was from MGM Home Entertainment and Child's Play 2 and so on was from Universal Studios Hollywood. Child's Play 2 was uh, directed by John Laffa. Child's Play 3 was directed by John Bender. Bride of Chucky was directed by Ronnie Yule. I always liked him as the director of Freddy vs. Jason. Some people really shit on Freddy vs. Jason now, but I still think it's a okay movie. Or maybe that's just me. I don't know. Now, Cedar Chucky was directed by Don McIntyre. And I don't know who directed the first Child's Play. Hold on. I'll be back. Maybe I can give you the... who. The who directed the first Child's Play. Okay, I'm sorry. It was Tom Holler who directed Friday Night Dolls. So I get I get the confused. You know, sometimes my mind goes blank, as you know. But yeah, please check out Child's Play 2. Right here. In Child's Play 3, I know a lot of people didn't like it. Some people do like it. I thought it was okay. I just like Alex Smith said that's Andy. But who played uh, Andy in uh, Child's Play 3? Yeah, Justin uh, Wallen. I always remember him from Serial Mom, who's, uh, you know, when Serial Mom kills him in that movie. That was when he burns him alive, but that's another movie. But anyway, check out Child's Play 2. And please subscribe to my channel. You don't have to like me. You don't have to respect me. Just subscribe to my channel. I need more subscribers. Please, I just need some su subscribers. I need, I need more subscribers, man. And also, if you want to, you can follow me on Twitter. My uh, Twitter name is Gizmo Burns, with that big picture of my fat fucking face on that back cover on the Twitter page, or whatever you call it. Anyway, that's said I'm out, and check out Child's Play 2, it is a good movie.